Okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, my name is Natya Sirbiladze. Uh, I'm CEO of Exec for Systems Georgia, and I'm excited and honored to be a speaker of today's event. Therefore, my special thanks to European Institute of, uh, for Research and Development uh, for giving me this opportunity. My uh, topic today is women in tech, uh, but before I dive in, um, I would like to briefly introduce what uh, our company does. It will be easier then. Um, so Exactor provides independent software testing services for mission critical technology that underpins global financial markets. We do uh, provide both functional and non-functional uh, software testing services. Our clients are based worldwide and some of them are even the major players in financial industry. And companies headquartered in the UK with operations in the USA and Eastern Europe and Georgia incorporated in uh, 2009 uh, with a 10 people uh, company currently employs 600 specialists so we have been in the industry long enough uh, to see both technology trends and social trends transform the processes and operations uh, up to the present day moment uh, as for me, um, um, I have 13 plus year experience in the several areas as, as uh, financial analysis, um, system analysis, project management, top management, and related aspects. I will not go into details. Uh, you can see my career journey from the slide. Um, but uh, what I would like to mention is that um, uh, I'm also co-founder and the president of GOSTQB. Um, and I would like to emphasize this achievement of establishing the national board um, of uh, ISTQB in Georgia with my colleagues. Uh, with this, uh, we managed to add Georgia to the uh, big family. And um, uh, the map of the International Software Testing Qualifications Board in um, 2019. Uh, now the board uh, is focusing on further development of software testing and QA direction in Georgia. So this was a really big achievement for us. And um, I think it would be also um, worth mentioning that um, uh, all about these milestones and achievements, uh, the most important duty of my life is um, taking care of my twins. Uh, and being mother is most enjoyable and at the same time most challenging thing in my life. Uh, let's start. Um, so due to uh, the physiology, uh, women um, often have to juggle um, several equally important roles and our careers are without doubt um, more affected by having children than let's say um, our male partners or spouses careers. Uh, this and other um, reasons cause certain uh, issues and put women in a significant professional disadvantage when uh, compared to men. Uh, these and other reasons may include uh, some historic, social, and even linguistic factors. Um, and um, this is confirmed by statistical data as well, uh, which is especially imbalanced in science, IT, finance. Some of them, uh, I mean, some statistical data are displayed in this slide as well. I guess majority of you may know that, for example, 55 uh, women um, have been awarded by a Nobel Prize when the number of men is um, 873, or like less than 20% of women educated in science and engineering degrees continue work in this area and uh, lots of other ones mentioned here. Um, but the situation may uh, differ uh, from country to country uh, by either way these stats are a formal representation of the hurdles uh, women may face in their professional environment. To name a few of them, like, um, for example, discrimination on recruiting and hiring processes, which is quite well known and at the same time painful one. Uh, salary differences known as a um, gender pay gap, uh, which are illegal, by the way, in some countries, but still in the other countries, it stays uh, to be the pain. Uh, sexism at the workplace, um, that's when women, um, uh, women are not taken seriously because of their gender. 
and the others, like as a result of these and other issues, we mean tend um, to feel uh, less inclined uh, to go into the spheres um, that are historically dominated by men, um, have trouble keeping their job after maternity leave, for example, have less confidence in their capabilities, and it takes uh, and it creates a vicious cycle, I would say. Um, so I have mentioned a um, couple and listed lots of um, challenges related to women and also the gender pay gaps, but now I would like to pay your attention uh, about two aspects, uh, two factors, and support uh, this with um, some case studies. Uh, both of them are um, connected to self-confidence. According to Wharton Scoop's research, uh, which is named the uh, confidence gap in work performance reviews between uh, women and men. Um, if you ever had a chance to rate um, your performance at work, you know how tough task is it. Um, for example, if you uh, rate yourself too high and it may seem um, like a bragging or too low, it could be a signal a uh, lack of the confidence in your work uh, and the, the other aspects as well. Um, According to this survey and research, um, men thought that they did better than they actually did, and women did. Uh, women thought that they did worse than uh, they did in reality. Um, and um, less confidence uh, is also connected with the salary, with the salary gap, as women consequently estimate their work performance with the lower results. So in salary negotiations, um, they will surely uh, have worse results uh, than uh, men with equal performance results. There is also one interesting um, case study and research uh, connected with self-confidence um, that uh, men have no problem applying uh, sorry, applying for job positions uh, while um, not fully even meeting the job specification while um, women will not send their CVs unless their skill, uh, skill uh, meet the, all the requirements. Another factor that I would like to mention here is that women are less prone to risk taking than men in general, according to NASDAQ data. And is it a bad character trait or not? I think it depends on the profession as well. Uh, for example, speaking about software testing, which is our business domain. Um, it's even better to take uh, fewer risky steps um, since complex mission critical platforms and software need the proper attention and testing. Uh, otherwise, um, uh, mistakes uh, may lead to uh, highly negative results, uh, both like for our and our clients' reputation. Now I would like to share also some uh, statistical data, uh, but specific for Georgia. And Georgia is the country where I originally come from <laughs> and currently work for now. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, comprehensive uh, research is not easy to, uh, to find, um, but um, a good bit uh, was done by a local recruiting and consulting company called um, Open Source. Uh, based on this survey, um, there are currently about 78% um, of men among developers versus 22% women. And unfortunately, lots of countries have salary gaps between men and women. Uh, even as I mentioned, it can be illegal for some of the countries, but still um, the situation is the same here. So according to this survey, uh, if, for example, mm, uh, the monthly net salary of around uh, 3,000 US dollars is average for 9% uh, of men. It's the same only for 1% of women. And if a monthly salary of around 2,000 uh, to 3,000 US dollars net is average for 18% of men, um, it's so only for 16% of 16% um, of women. There is also um, uh, one more uh, less famous um, and less bigger survey. And it shows that the salary uh, differences vary up um, up to 40% uh, between uh, women and men, but it, of course it depends years of experience and uh, age as well. 
Okay, uh, we can also draw a um, comparison with the UK, uh, which is where our business is headquartered. And I have collected the statistical data according to the UK national statistics, um, just for your information that every company uh, employing more than 250 specialists is required to um, by the UK government to report and publish figures about their gender um, pay gap. And let's highlight some statistical data here. So the gender uh, pay gap uh, fell to 7.4% uh, among full-time employees and 15.5% among all employees in 2020. The data here involves uh, like full-time, part-time workers and combination of both. Uh, one more graph here um, that um, gender pay gap has fallen uh, almost to almost zero. Uh, among full-time employees um, age under 40. But for example, about the age uh, from 50 to 59, uh, it's about 12.8% uh, um, and above the age of 60, it's um, around 13%. Uh, so it's obvious that the situation is getting uh, better, well, improving and at least um, in the UK, for example, and some uh, other other countries, but these differences also emphasize that um, equality and making sure that the female part of the um, workforce are treated equally and fairly is every individual country's and every individual employer's responsibility. Um, uh, I wanted also to share um, some statistical info about um, gap analysis from Exact for Science as well. Uh, I think it should be interesting uh, for you. As uh, at Exact Pro, we uh, strongly believe in equal uh, opportunities for all our employees. We have been able to attract and retain a super technical team of talented engineers. Um, uh, and we do treat everyone fairly and make sure salary gaps don't occur between men and women. Approximately 31% of our staff are women. Um, speaking about the overall uh, gender distribution in the company, 71% uh, um, are men and 29% women. But for example, for top management, um, it's a little bit different that 34% uh, are women and 66% are men. At Exact Pro, um, the gender pay gap uh, is in low single digits uh, and it goes in the both directions. It's safe to say that it's a uh, unique for our industry. Um, uh, we have not one, but um, several women in our top management who have received industry recognition uh, of working hard uh, and making difference uh, in financial uh, technology space. I will not, of course, mention all of them, just a couple of them to show what um, to show these um, amazing examples um, that the women are changing. Uh, a lot of things. Um, here is Aliona Bulda. Uh, she started her career with the company as a quality assurance engineer, and now she is a head of um, global exchanges division. Uh, last year, she was named uh, as a rising star in the European uh, Women in Finance uh, award held by Markets Media and Bex Execution. Um, uh, another great example is our head of HR direction, Elena Rusakova, who recently received the prestigious um, Women in Technology um, and Data Award held by Waters Technology. Elena managed our HR uh, direct activities and has successfully steered the team through the COVID-19 pandemic with a wide range of initiatives promoting health and well-being and knowledge sharing sessions. Um, uh, Anna Maria Lukina, head of marketing, who started out as a QA specialist and further applied her energy and intellectual power to creating a marketing department, uh, built it from the ground up. Uh, so it expand and promote the company brand on various platforms at the global in-person events. Uh, well, back when it was uh, when they were allowed, and uh, um, sorry. Um, yes, and um, uh, last from the, from all this list, but not the least, uh, Marina Kudryavtseva is the 
head of uh, Exactro's new distributed ledger technology division, which was established uh, in February 2020. Marina oversees all DLT related work across the. She joined the company as a QA engineer and quickly rose through the ranks uh, to become head of one of the company's eight business pillars. Um, that um, is for the main part of my presentation. Um, I decided to finish it with a famous poster in order to try and motivate more women uh, to go into tech. I hope with uh, all the slides that I have shown uh, that, uh, and also the last ones, why I have chosen this topic and also why I stand behind what we do in XXPro. I'm proud to be the part of this big family and always are trying to encourage the other talented specialists um, without differentiating uh, female or male, just to join us. Um, and um, in general, we have the lots of uh, educational and the other videos on our social media. And anyone interested on this can find, uh, I am, I'm sure, pretty couple of lots of different variety videos. Um, and uh, before moving on the question, uh, firstly, I would like to thank my dear marketing team for, for this um, uh, great presentation <laughs> to help me and support to prepare it. And also, if you would like to get more information or need my assistance, feel free to contact me using the details on the slide.